What's going on my friends? This is Melodic Hills bringing you today's guitar tutorial. Today's guitar tutorial was requested by no other than the great Jaden Holland. I really appreciate you requesting this song my friend. Not only because I've never listened to the song, I've never heard it before. It was really cool to listen to it. I'm gonna put the original link down there on the description. But it's also a really good song for beginners to learn. If you're struggling with strums, if you're struggling with simple apergios, if you're struggling with bar chords, this song is going to make it more entertaining for you to, you know, get through those. Alrighty, you guys, we're going to get started with this tutorial. Before we do, please make sure to subscribe if you're new to the channel. Turn on the notifications for future content. And as always, put down your recommendations because I don't make tutorials just for the sake of making tutorials. I make tutorials on the recommendations that you guys put right down there in the comments. Alright, and check out my gaming clips. They're pretty dope. Let's go. Alrighty, my good friend, let's get started with this tutorial. The very first thing is that we don't need a capo and we're going to be on standard tuning. So it's going to go for the sixth string, E, A, D, G, B, E. And like I said, no capo, major and minor shapes with bar chords is what we're gonna be playing. So if you need help with major and minor shapes for the bar chords, click on this card right here. It's going to take you to a tutorial for the major and minor shapes and then you can come back to this song, right? Alrighty, so for the first one, we're going to have an E major shape. And like I said, not E major up here. We're going to go to fret number seven and number nine. You can play the traditional shape if you wish, but I'm going to play the power chord shape, right? For this one, for the E major, I'm going to go from the fifth string to the second string and back to the fifth string. And I'm going to do that two times. The second time, I'm going to stop at the fourth string. So I'm going five, four, three, two, three, four, five, four, three, two, three, four. Okay? From there, we're going to go to a G sharp, and it's just the note for now. When you play the chorus, we're gonna play the minor shape of it, but for now, it's just going to be the root. So we're going to go to fret number four on the sixth string, and we're going to play G, 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 G. One, two, three, four, five. And then we're going to go to fret number five to play A, and we're only doing the root right now. And you let it ring for now. And then it goes back. Three, four. Alrighty, so for the chorus, we're going to be essentially doing exactly the same thing. Now, we're going to have the same chord, which is your E major chord. Now, the G becomes a G sharp minor, and the A becomes an A major. Now, I gotta tell you guys, if you want to play the E up here, the G sharp, you don't really have much of a choice, and the A up here, that's completely up to you, but I suggest that you practice the bar chords, right? So that way you have something new to do. Alrighty, so the rhythm for it is going to go down, 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 up, down, up, down, down. And then here, when we go to the G sharp minor, we're going to do the same thing. It's going to be five strums, and we're going to go up and down. One, two, three, four, five, and then A. Alrighty, so I'm gonna add one more thing. I'm going to leave the solo for a part two if I see you know, that there's you know, enough interest in this song and it's worth doing a part two, I'll go ahead and do it. But for now, I'm just gonna add this right here. Okay, this is what's played right before the solo. You're going to fret number seven, number nine, number two, number four. And then after that, of course, you know, you're gonna start hearing the solo, but while the solo is playing, it's the same strums.
Alrighty, you guys, thank you so much for your time. This was Melodic Heels with much love as always. I really appreciate the suggestions. I don't just do tutorials on pretty much anything. I only do tutorials on the songs that you guys put down in the comments. So make sure to put it down in the comments, hit the like button, subscribe, turn on the notifications. And if you wanna go a step further and you have more of a question that can't be answered through just the comments, Find me on Instagram or any of my social medias. Alrighty, I really appreciate the time. I'll catch you on the next one.